Hey guys, Jackie Kravitz here, and I have my good friend Aaron Clapper who agreed to take time off his schedule today to do an expired role play with me. Um, you've you've done a lot of expireds over the year, right? Uh, over the years, Aaron. Yeah, I've done a bunch. I I actually moved out to California from New York City, um, so I didn't know a soul. I didn't have past clients. I didn't have center of influence, so I had to call people I didn't know, which really was expired listings. That's how I built my career. Cool. So tell us where in California are you? I'm Southern California, um, a little beach town called Manhattan Beach, California, and um, right near LAX airport. And it's just a beautiful place to live and sell real estate. Sounds amazing. So anyone, yeah. is it just strictly Manhattan Beach for anybody that needs a great agent in your area? <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Right. Manhattan Beach and what else around there? <sighs> Uh, we're, we're in a, an area called the South Bay, and uh, it's Manhattan Beach. It's the Palos Verdes Peninsula. It's Torrance. It's it's an area called the South Bay. If you look at LAX Airport, just south of that, there's this little group of, of beautiful little cities, and, and that's yeah. kind of my area. Okay, cool. Great place to live and sell real estate, I'm sure. It is. It's beautiful. So, Aaron, thanks for, again, agreeing to, to role play this expired with me. I trust that it's going to be a lot of fun and whoever is watching will learn from, from our role play. So are you ready? All set. Okay, perfect. I got to actually take this smile off my face. I don't know what kind of, <laughs> how, how you're going to answer the phone, but you know, expireds are usually a, a little bit hostile. They're not happy <clears throat> people. So mm, let me prepare for this. I'll prepare too. Let me, let me engage my, my inner expired oh, so that we can give value to all these great people watching this call. That'll right. be, that'll be wonderful. There you go. All right. All set. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Is this Aaron? Yeah, this is Aaron. Who is this? Aaron, this is Jackie. I'm a local real estate agent. I'm sure you know that your house came off the market today, and I'm calling you because you know something. I am. When, when are you guys? When are you guys going to stop calling? I yeah, keep, you know, I keep telling you guys, just stop. Yeah. Calling me. Stop Aaron, calling I, me. It sounds like you've been getting a lot of calls from agents, and I understand there are thousands around here, and I don't know why anybody else is calling you. I am calling you because I am confident that I can sell your house. And I'd like to meet with, with you for just 20 minutes and show you, you know exactly what? how I can do it. All you guys want, I, you just want my listing. Yeah. I, I, I'm getting so many calls this morning. No, Aaron, and, I'm gonna uh, be honest with you. I don't know if other agents want your listing. I would only want your listing if I can sell it because you're not gonna pay me unless it's sold. I'd like to sit down with you for 20 minutes and show you what I do differently from other agents to get where were you where were you when the house was on the market you i was know, on the market. i don't know how many months it was three four five months whatever it was I, where were you you didn't bring I, any buyers i get it aaron it sounds to me like you want to sell this home otherwise you wouldn't be so frustrated at not having sold and having wasted all this time he, here's what i want to do aaron you're under no obligation whether you want to sell now or in the future it would only take me 20 minutes to show you how I can find the buyer for your property. Because you asked me, where was I? I was right. actually selling the homes for the sellers like you who hired me. So when can so, we sit down for 20 minutes? So I mean, I, 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 have an, I have an agent. I have an agent already that, that, oh. that I'm very happy with. In fact, oh, okay. she's, she's a friend of mine. So I'm, it's not like oh. I'm going to not use my friend. So Aaron, let me just understand what you're saying. Uh, have you listed the property with your friend yet or you're planning on doing that? Uh, no, I, I mean, we're, we're, we're planning on it. I mean, I'm going to go. Right, right. Well, and, yeah. and, and by the way, I, uh, that's definitely an option. And I would imagine you sound like a very smart guy. Your friend must be a good agent. Otherwise, you wouldn't consider listing with them just because he or she's a friend. And before you sign that contract, Aaron, give me 20 minutes of your time to show you what is it that I do differently from other agents that actually got me 20 properties under contract in the last six months while your house was for sale. I am confident that I can do the same for you. Would you be available around three o'clock today or maybe four be better? You know, I, I, I tell you, if, if I'm gonna interview anybody, I probably just want to interview agents that showed my house. You know, I know there's agents out there that are really trying to get my house sold. And yeah, um, yeah. to be honest, you weren't one of them. So, and, and you're right, Aaron. I quite honestly, I wasn't ignoring your house. It's not like I didn't show it because I was avoiding your property. I didn't even know that it was for sale. We have 
thousands of homes for sale right now and your agent never contacted me now here and i understand your thinking your thought process because you're thinking well if i'm going to hire somebody i might as well you consider an agent that actually showed my property and and i just want to give you something to think about aaron there are listing agents and there are buyer's agents you're not buying a home you have a property that you want to sell and in this case it's going to benefit you tremendously to hire a listing specialist like myself because bottom line is these buyers agents they showed your house but they didn't sell it did they if they had sold it you and i wouldn't be speaking aaron it would only that's, take 20 minutes i'll yeah, show you exactly exactly how i'm gonna find the buyer for your property and that's the key difference here it's not just about listing your home, throwing it in the ML, multiple listing service, putting it on hundreds of websites. No, a, a great agent knows exactly how to find the buyer for your home. And ultimately that's, that's what you're looking to do, isn't it? It, it is, but you know, I mean, another option that I'm heavily considering is I'll just sell it myself. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of websites I can put it on. Um, I have a little bit of a marketing background. Like this yeah. is something that uh, 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 it's not rocket science. Like I, yeah. and I can do right this about that. and exactly. save myself a lot of money. Yeah. And Aaron, that's definitely an option for you as well. And before you make a final decision, because I, I don't blame you for considering, hey, might as well sell it myself. I mean, you couldn't do worse than your previous agent. So, hey, you have nothing to lose. You're just maybe maybe a little bit of time. You've already wasted six months. So I understand. And, and it's, there's not even a question in my mind that you can sell this property on your own. Because it sounds like, you know, you have a marketing background. Mm -hmm. You sound like a smart guy. It's not a matter of, can you sell it? The question is, what is the best way for you to do it so you can sell it for the most money possible and net the most money possible? I mean, you wouldn't want it any other way, right? No, in fact, um, yeah, yeah, we we need every dollar because we're I'm going 100%. to Virginia, and 100%. I mean it's it's expensive. So, I, so let me ask you a question then. Right. So, my last agent only took one percent on her side, and then she offered you know the commission to the other agent. Is yeah. that something that you would do? Yeah, Aaron, I, that is a great question. I, I imagine you're asking me about commission because from your perspective, you're thinking, hey. The less commission you pay, the more money you keep, and you want to net the most money possible, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Here's, here's the great news, Aaron. My commission is negotiable. We're going to discuss that in detail when I get there. Here's the bottom line. <laughs> Just like this previous, the previous agent you had that was charging only 1% commission on one side, if I cannot sell your house, I won't charge you any commission. It's not going to cost you anything to work with me. And I can promise you, Aaron, I'm going to be a tough negotiator and get this home sold for you for the most money possible. Ultimately, the commission is going to be whatever you and I agree upon. So it would be, would three o'clock be good for you today or four be better? Um, yeah, I mean, we can meet for a couple minutes at three. That would work. I'm home. All right. Great. I, I really appreciate the opportunity, Aaron. I am confident that when we meet, you will clearly see why we should be working together. So I look forward to seeing you at three o'clock. Okay. All right. I'll see you then. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you're a good inspired <laughs> role. Like you interrupt. You're exactly. I, I, I don't even, when I get on the phone to make some calls for you to go, I'm always calling Fizbos because there are any, it expires, you know, you got to start early in the morning. I don't usually do that. Um, I'm not going to um, pre-qualify this appointment. I just want to say it for the, for the audience who's watching it. The, the next thing that needs to happen right here, right after he says, okay, great, I'll see you at 3 o'clock, is Aaron, before, so I can better prepare for our meeting, before I come out, just got to ask you, when we sell this home, are you moving to and just go into the pre-qual right away? It's not like hang up the phone and run to an unqualified listing appointment. Yeah. Aaron, uh, anything else you want to like share with uh, the viewers here about expired listings? I think it's a gold mine. You know, some some areas have more than others. Some depending on the market conditions. You you were telling me that you don't have 
a whole lot of expireds right now. Um, I feel like FISBOs and expireds are always a gold mine. You have more of one, uh, fewer of the other. But you know, I think it's an absolute gold mine, and and even when there's not a lot of expireds, I find that just by consistently calling them, it keeps my skills sharp, and it helps all other aspects of my business. I want to share with you really quickly, Jackie. It was really hard for me. I'm glad that I mean, not glad, but being on Zoom, I was. You can see that I was nodding throughout it. <laughs> you know, people expires can hide behind the phone because you can't see them. But when you're using the skills and the scripts that you're using, it is really hard to say no. Um, you're very much aligning with me, and uh, I knew that we were doing a role play, so I was trying to pull stuff out. The truth of the matter is, in reality, yeah. I would have agreed to the appointment much, much sooner. Uh, I was just trying to pull out all the stops for the role play, but yeah. but that's just the reality is that you, when somebody has great scripting and handles the objections and has a level of confidence, boy, it just makes me feel, I need somebody that can lead me to a sale. So when you show that, that, that confidence, oh. it was just amazing. Great job. Really well done. Thank you. Great job for you being an expired. You were the best expired I've role played with. <laughs> I, I had the easy part. I love you use the word lead. Because I, I tell my clients that all the time. This is not about being pushy. This is about leading them to take action, making it easy for you to say yes. Because I keep saying things. You, in the beginning, you're very confident. No, 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 no. And then I say to my clients, every time you handle an objection and you say, I'm confident I can sell your home, find them. They're, st they're starting to question, hmm, maybe there's something here I need to. A and then. I'm only asking for 20 minutes. It's so easy to say yes to that. It's just a combination of a lot of things, as you know, because you're great at expired too. So I really appreciate it, Aaron. This was so much fun. Great. I appreciate it as well. I had a great time. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for your time.